in the year after Gandhi, by Ramakandra Gohu is a comprehensive and detailed account of India's history from the period immediately following its independence in 1947 to the early 21st century. The book covers a wide range of topics and events that have shaped modern India. Here is a detailed summary of the book. Introduction Rimakandra Gaha begins the book by highlighting the uniqueness of India's experiment with democracy. He emphasizes that despite the immense diversity and challenges the country has faced, it has remained a functioning democracy for over six decades. He argues that India's post-independence history is a story of its democracy's resilience. Part 1, The Aftermath of Partition, 1947-1952 Goha delves into the immediate challenges that India faced after gaining independence, including the trauma of partition, the integration of princely states, and the drafting of the Indian constitution. He discusses the contributions of leaders like Jawaharlal Nehru, Sardar Patel, and B.R. Ambedkar in shaping the new nation. Part 2, Democracy Takes Root, 1952-1964. This section explores India's early years as a democratic republic, including its first general elections in 1952, the establishment of democratic institutions, and economic planning under the leadership of Nehru. It also covers the contentious issues of language and the rise of regional politics. Part 3, From Dominance to Disarray, 1964-1977 who analyzes the challenges faced by India during this period, including the Indo-Pak War of 1965, the Green Revolution, and the turbulent political landscape. The section also discusses the split within the Indian National Congress and the rise of Indira Gandhi as a powerful leader. Part 4, The Dark Years, 1977-1984. This section covers the emergency declared by Indira Gandhi in 1975, during which civil liberties were suspended. It also discusses the Janata Party's rise to power and the assassination of Indira Gandhi in 1984. Part 5, Resurgence, 1984-1989, Gahu examines the political developments in the 1980s, including Rajiv Gandhi's tenure as Prime Minister and the Bhopal Gas Tragedy. The section also covers the Ramjan Bhumi movement and the rise of regional parties. Part 6, Perilous Decade, 1989-1999, the book discusses the complex challenges faced by India in the 1990s, including economic liberalization, the Mandel Commission report, and the Babri Masjid demolition. It also covers the rise of coalition politics. Part 7, India Adrift, 1999-2004. This section analyzes the political landscape in the late 1990s and early 2000s, including the Kajil War, the NDA government led by Atal Bihari Vajpayee, and the Gujarat riots of 2002. Part 8, The Age of Coalition. 2004-2009, Goha discusses the APA government under Manmohan Singh, economic growth, and the challenges of coalition politics. He also touches on issues such as the nuclear deal with the United States. Part 9, India in the 21st Century, 2009-2011. The book concludes by examining India's role on the global stage, its economic growth, and the challenges it faces in the 21st century, including corruption and governance issues. Throughout the book, Gohan not only provides a chronological account of events but also delves into the personalities and ideologies that shaped India's post-independence history. He emphasizes the complexities and contradictions of the Indian democracy making India after Gandhi a valuable resource for anyone interested in understanding modern India's political, social, and economic evolution.